Hello everyone, let's solve this very quickly. Hold on, don't be scared, this is not that hard. Okay, so we have square root of x to the power of 6, okay? Then the whole of this raised to the power of 3 equals 512. Now, what will be the first step you're going to take? Trying to remove this from the um, remove this um, power of three, right? And the only way we remove that power of three is to multiply the three there by its reciprocal. So we're going to have square root of x to the power of six to the power of three multiplied by what is the reciprocal of three? That will be one over the three, right? And now that I introduced this reciprocal, it has to, um, to reflect on the right hand side. So it's, this has to be 512 to the power of 1 over 3. Okay, let's continue with this. And then this can cancel this as a matter of fact. So that square root of x to the power of 6 will be equal to... 512 to the power of 1 over 3 but then what is um, 512 to the power of 1 over 3 now before then do you know that this 512 is the same thing as 8 times 8 times 8 okay so if you don't know now you know this will be to the power of 1 over 3 right okay so that if we continue with this then First of all, I can remove this square root from here. This is going to be the same thing as x to the power of 6 to the power of 1 over 2. Okay, so this is the same thing as square root of one, um, x to the power of 6. Then 8 in 3 places is 8 to the power of 3. Then we have the power of 1 over 3 on the outside. In case I have not told you, we are solving this completely. So hold on and see how this would, um, how far this would take us. Now, this can go there and it gives us x to the power of 3, which will be equal to this can cancel this and it gives us ordinary 8. Now bring everything to one side. So we have x to the power of 3 minus 8 equals 0. And this is cubic, meaning that it should give us three solutions since we are to solve it completely now do you know that this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 because 2 to the power of 3 will give us 8 and the idea behind this is to get the same power and everything is equal to 0 now let's get a standard this is standard like this if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this will give us a minus b okay into a squared plus a b plus um b squared okay so the question is how many guys how many students can remember this standard if you remember this standard you know it's going to be very simple for you to deal with this now in place of a minus b i have x minus 2 right x minus 2 over there then in the place of a squared, I'm going to have x squared. Then plus ab becomes x times 2, and that is 2x. Then plus b squared becomes 2 squared. So I write 2 squared over there. And then this is equal to 0. Okay, now let's continue with this. Let's continue so that we have x minus 2 in this. Then in the other, I have x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. This is 0. Now we apply 0 product rule because we have two things to multiply to get 0. So it's either one of them is 0 or both of them are equal to 0. So x minus 2 here is either equal to 0 or the quadratic expression here is equal to 0. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0, right?
Now, from this linear equation, we can conclude that x is equal to 2, and this is the first solution to this problem. Now, let's get the other solution. Remember, I said we are looking for three solutions because the equation is cubic, right? So, we have x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. And we're going to solve this using the formula method. From here, our a is equal to 1, that is the coefficient of x squared. b is equal to 2, and c is equal to 4, the constant. Now, what is the formula? The formula is x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. And then the whole of this will be divided by 2a. Okay, now let's substitute. x will be equal to, in place of minus b, I have minus 2, because b is actually equal to 2, then plus or minus. In place of b squared, I have 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times c, as c is 4. The whole of this is over 2 multiplied by 1, because a is 1. Now, what do we do from here? x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus. Okay, here we have 4 minus 16. Because 4 times 1 times 4 is 16. And the whole of this is over 2. 2 times 1 is 2. And by the way, if you're still watching this video and you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. So that you won't have to miss out. Now, from here, x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus 4 minus 16 here will give us minus 12 okay this is minus 12 and then the whole of this is over 2 now i would like to pick out the negative or better still yes let me pick out the negative from there so that x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus then we have square root of 12 multiplied by square root of negative 1 i have picked out the negative and then the whole of this is over 2 now, let's deal with um, what we have there. x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus. 12 there is the same thing as 4 times 3. Then, multiply by the square root of negative 1 is i. But by the way, why did I pick 4 times 3 for 12 and not 6 times 2? Because I needed to bring out a perfect square that is a factor of 12, right? then this will be divided by 2. If I continue, then x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 here is 2, then square root of 3i. Remember, this i is not under the square root sign anymore, okay? And then we divide this by 2. Now, this can go here and it can go there as well. So this means that our x will be minus 1 plus okay plus or minus square root of 3i so there's no longer 2 over here and then this is a 2 in 1 solution meaning that x is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 3i or minus 1 minus square root of 3i okay this is i over there now Let's bring the three solutions together. Remember I told you this is cubic and as such we should have three solutions, right? Now, the first is x1 which is equal to 2 if you can recall. Then x2 is from here which is minus 1 plus square root of 3i. And then x3 is over there which is minus 1 minus square root of 3i so these are the three solutions to the equation but remember that it is only equation one that um it's only um x1 which is equal to two that is the real solution 